Greetings and konnichiwa, and welcome to the Onyx Tavern. I'm your host, Rick the Bard, keep bringing you episode 222 today, where tonight we're going to be talking about the Power Rangers fighting game that we've always wanted. Or at least that's what the marketing tells us. Yes, we are going to be talking about Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. Now, frankly, I have no idea how to react to this game. I, I really don't. And there are a number of red flags here that make me very cautious uh, about this product. But man, do I, do I wish it's good. Um, I mean, we're coming off the heels where in a week, basically we're told that Power Rangers is a dead franchise. And everybody's coming up to defend it, and, and you know, we're waiting for, uh, you know, Beast Morphers to come out. We still have Legacy Wars going on. We're wondering if Hasbro's going to come up with another movie. And uh, the big news that we have right now is that we are getting a fighty game for all three major consoles and the PC, which is not, and I repeat, not an upscale version of Legacy Wars despite the fact that it's made by the same company and looks exactly like Legacy Wars in the brief uh, trailers that we've seen. That's what I'm saying, guys, is that they're telling us it's one thing, but it looks like another. And, I mean, we haven't had a good Power Rangers fighting game since the fighting edition on the Super Nintendo. So that tells you how long it's been. And I've told you guys a number of issues that I've had with the Legacy Wars mobile game. That's why I can't get particularly excited about this game. Um, I mean, here's the red flags, folks. I mean, again, like like I said, it's made by the same developer. It's, um, I mean, it's made by some developer. The gameplay footage looks the same. The four characters that we know are going to be in the game right now is Jason as the Mighty Morphin Red Ranger. Tommy as the Green Ranger with his V2 uh, DLC skin pre-order. Gia which I have no idea why she is in so much media regarding Power Rangers in one of the worst seasons and one of the worst characters of that show, um, and Lord Dracon, which, again, whatever, whatever uh, about him. So those are our characters, and the game is going to be released in April. Do you know what other game, fighting game at that, comes out in April? Oh, yes, Mortal Kombat 11. So its release date is the same day that, or same date, or same month, excuse me, that NetherRealm is releasing Mortal Kombat 11, one of the greatest fighting franchises ever, and one of the greatest uh, fighting game developers ever, because they've made the Mortal Kombat uh, reboot series, and they've done Injustice. <laughs> and even that, the game is 20 bucks. For a digital download. Now, when was the last time we had Power Rangers digital download game that uh, was loads of fun? Oh yes, it was Mega Battle for <laughs> P- PS4, PlayStation, uh, Xbox, whatever, which was horrible. And and that's a beat 'em up game. And how do you get those wrong, especially a Power Ranger beat 'em up game? I mean, what what is this? What what is this game supposed to go ahead and be? We're supposed to have characters in the game. We're supposed to have DLC. We're supposed to have different skins. But we're talking about a developer that's made a mobile game that nickels and dimes us out of playing the game. It's a pay-to-win feature. They're going to put as a digital download on a console for half the price, or excuse me, a third of the price of a normal AAA developed game, and it doesn't look impressive in the brief little bit that they've shown us. Again, Mortal Kombat 11 comes out in April. Why can't we, seriously, and they're teaming up with Hasbro uh, to, to do this. And actually, the, the weirder thing about this is, look at the name and the logo. Look at the name and the logo. It's Saban's Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. Saban no longer owns it. Why are they still using that logo? Why are they still using the Power Rangers 2017 movie logo? Apparently, we're all supposed to forget that movie even happened. Because it didn't do well, and they're going to consider doing a reboot or whatever. I don't know. I I, I just I don't understand what's going on here. Why why isn't Hasbro contacting like NetherRealm and asking them to come up with this? Or heck, Capcom's done the Street Fighter stuff, and apparently that's pretty good. I mean I mean honestly, between you and me, 
I prefer Mortal Kombat over Street Fighter. I never liked the, the, the gameplay of the Street Fighter past the Super Nintendo era, but Mortal Kombat I'd be able to, to stick with because I, I, I've liked that. So why aren't we getting NetherRealm, which would be the perfect choice here? Again, NetherRealm has done Mortal Kombat. They know how to do the Warner Brothers uh, or DC characters through the Warner Brothers license. Power Rangers would be perfect for this. And yet, we have Inway developing this game. And they're, they're trying to bend over backwards, say, oh, it's not the same game as Legacy Wars, yada, 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 and stuff. But th there's nothing that's convincing me otherwise at this point. And yes, I know it's been a very short time since we've heard the announcement, but gameplay footage is gameplay footage, folks. It looks like... I mean, it's, it doesn't even look like Smash Brothers. I mean, it looks like a previous gen, or in this case, a mobile game fighter. Um, and again, how are they trying to entice us? Oh, sh great, they got Jason Frank to do the commercial. Whoopee. I mean, Jason Frank will do anything for a sandwich to promote Tommy nowadays. I mean, and that's not a criticism of Jason Frank. I'm just saying that's the nature of, of the world that we're in. And again, you're trying to entice us with Mighty Morphin characters, characters that are already in the Legacy War games. I mean, if you were going to entice us, why don't you entice us with more interesting characters or characters that we've been wanting or tell us if there's a Megazord mode? Oh, apparently there's a story mode, but are we going to have cutscenes? Are we going to have the actors from the original series come in and actually voice their characters in this? Is it going to sp uh, sprawl against the, the entire Power Rangers canon? Unlikely, <laughs> because if that was happening, they would be promoting that. And again, I can't help but compare this to Mortal Kombat 11 because Mortal Kombat 11 is coming out at the same time. And when, when you look at what they're doing, I mean, I don't care. I don't give a damn about Ronda Rousey, but she's at least a celebrity that people know. And they got her to voice Sonya Blade in the game, one of the original characters from the original uh, game. Is Jason Frank going to come in and voice himself? If he was, they haven't said anything. And apparently this game is supposed to be uh, so good or capable, whatever, for eSports. Really? Y you want to go ahead and take this game and, and have people compete for, for money for it? Supposedly people are doing that with Legacy Wars, but I suspect that they're already spending money to be able to compete for money in the first place, which tells me they probably end up in the red or, or back, back at square one. I just don't understand the management of the Power Ranger brand, whether it's through Saban, Disney, uh, or now Hasbro. They just don't seem to understand what the fans want. Because my first question is, who is this game targeted to? That That's going to be my first question. Who is the game targeted to at the moment? By having the Mighty Morphin characters and Lord Dracon in the, in the trailer, or you know, say that those are the first characters we're coming out with, that tells me that you are appealing to an older demographic. Why? Because the younger fans are more, going to be more familiar with Dino Charge and Ninja Steel. And if you actually take a look uh, at the, the game, I mean, yeah, you got like two characters from Dino Charge and a Snide, uh, of course, in Legacy Wars, and you have one Ninja Steel character. Oh, plus uh, Snide, whatever. That's at least appealing to the the younger characters you had, or the younger fans you had the 2017 because it was a cross promotion for that, and of course by by default you have to have the Mighty Morphin Rangers. Now, granted, you can say by default you have to have the Mighty Morphin Rangers in this, but when you put the Mighty Morphin Rangers front and center, you're saying, okay, so you're going to have, you know, Tommy, Jason, um, and of course I think Kimberly is one of the others, so you're going to have them, and you're going to have this comic uh, version of Evil Tommy. And so they're looking at the comic readers, because that's the only media he appears in is, is going to be in the comic book. He doesn't appear in the TV sh series or anything. So you're, you're uh, arguably marketing to older fans of Mighty Morphin. Because I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, how many of the younger generation that's watching the current series are interested in the Mighty Morphin Rangers? I guarantee that most of them, the first time they saw the Mighty Morphin Rangers was in uh, Dimensions in Danger. Because... I don't know what the demographics are of them watching Netflix or if they're watching any other uh, Power Rangers outside of whatever their generation's Rangers are at this time. It seems like they're focusing towards an older audience. If they are indeed focusing towards an older audience just based on the characters that they've currently revealed and the fact that you have Jason Frank, 
then why does it look like it's for a for younger kids? It looks like it's. I mean, now again, granted, Smash Brothers is accessible by everyone, but you have all the characters from Mario on up to who Bayonetta. I'm, I'm not even sure who that is. Um, but but you have a whole bunch of characters, a whole ge- generation full. This. Again, the marking just seems like it's appealing towards the older demographic, and in a way, it seems to be appealing towards the Legacy Wars uh, demographic. Basically saying, you don't want to spend money on Legacy Wars? Well, why don't you buy this game and spend money on that? I mean, I, again, who is this game for? And it looks relatively simple. Supposedly, you're supposed to be able to pull off combos like a traditional fighter and all that, but... Again, it still looks like Legacy Wars, and that's the fact I can't get over. If you were going to develop a brand new game from the ground up, or so they claim, because that's exactly what they said, why does it look exactly like the previous game? Unless this is a misdirection of some po- of some uh, of something, but I doubt that they're misdirecting you in this. They're probably up front, hey, this is what the game is going to go ahead and be. And why the $20 price point? Is this not a major game? It's a Power Rangers fighting game on three major consoles and and PC. Now, do I want to pay $60 for a game? Hell no. I don't want to pay $70 for Madden, but, you know, it's a AAA developed game and all that. They're telling you it's going to be a $20 price point, $35 if you pay for the season pass and and yada yada, whatever comes with the pre-order bonuses and stuff. But $20 game, that screams of shovelware. It it just seems to me like it's going to be a disposable game, and I I do not understand that at all. I mean, are they not investing in this game? Apparently, they've been working on this for at least a year, and information hasn't gotten out, which which I find odd uh, as well. Again, there are just so many red flags going on here that, that, that I don't understand it. If they really want to give people what they want... Again, my personal opinion, I think they should team up with NetherRealm to develop a game. But beyond developing with NetherRealm, you need to you need to have characters in there. You have to have a story mode. You have to have competitive online play. And you have to have the graphics that look like it's not a mobile game. And I don't see any of that in the brief information that we have. Now, we still have you know, three more months until this game is released, so maybe things will change, but I doubt it. I mean, what is this story mode supposed to be? Consider story mode in Megabell, yeah, which, yes, was developed by Bandai Namco, is just you punching through different levels and you have text coming up. Is there going to be a full voice cast or is it just going to be you know text reading? Because if that's the case, that was like three generations ago. I'm not trying to hate on this game. It's just th- their marketing is this is the game Power Ranger fans want. It is not. Who was asking for a game that seems this bad? I mean, Power Ranger video games, as Raptor and I had discussed a long time ago, I mean, it's it's a natural world that Power Rangers uh, belong in, fighting being the primary uh, genre they should be in. I mean, you know, fighting, uh, heck, racing w- would be an interesting one to do, which I did with Zeo Battle Racers, and a great RPG w- would be something that I would love to go ahead and have. Um but but they they don't seem to branch out uh, in, into this. I mean, heck, when they were doing in in the Super Nintendo era, Power Ranger games were good. I mean, honestly, pa- the Fighting Edition, the movie game, the first game, heck, even the Game Boy games had some charm to them. Then they moved to THQ, and I don't think I ever played those games. And they were on the Game Boy Advance. And they were just simple side scrollers or platformers, and nobody gave a damn about. And then, of course, then uh, Bandai Namco gets a hold of it. And again, we have that debacle. Super Legends on the PS2. That wasn't really fun. I mean, any ga- any Power Ranger game where you don't get to fully control a Megazord is not really a good game. And the only one we have is Legacy Wars for mobile, which tries, again, to nickel and dime you into spending money on something that you should not be spending money on. I I think the only decent game that I can think of that was even on Next Generation Console was probably the Dino Thunder game, but even that had a number of issues with it. At least you got to control the Zords in that. Um, We've just been denied a good Power Ranger game, and we look at all these other franchises that are getting good games um you know like again who would have thought we would have had an injustice 
I mean, look at all the bad superhero video games, particularly the Batman and Superman games and Aquaman and all that. I mean, we had Arkham, which was which was great, and then Injustice comes out of nowhere. Before that, all you have was Justice League Task Force, which is not the best fighting game out there, but heck, for the Super Nintendo, it was still fun. And they always deny us, like, Megazords. That's another thing, too. You guys get that, right? Even in Legacy Wars, we have, like, six Megazords, and three or four of which are really unaccessible to people unless you pay money or grind your way through it. Because I'm never going to be able to own the Dragon Zord. I'll tell you that right now. And I ain't paying for that damn thing. It, it just seems that they want to create their own thing, but don't really want the input of the fans. Because, again, what fan wants this game? What fan wants Legacy Wars in its current form? Who wanted any of these games out there? I, I just I do not understand that to 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 any degree. Um, aren't don't that I think that's the biggest disconnect that that I'm seeing with Power Rangers. They're saying again, Power, they're saying Power Rangers is a dead franchise, but it's because I would say if that statement were true, it's because they don't listen to their fans. They give the fans what they think they want, but they don't actually engage them with what they want. And again, one of the, the, the things is, is like the comic series, as I said in one of my previous videos, it seems like they're, that seems like they're giving the fans what they want. Mature, thoughtful, provoking Power Ranger stories. The 2017 movie, that seemed to give Power Ranger fans what they want, except for the whole rebooted uh, aspect of it. But this game just doesn't seem like, I mean, it, it seriously seems like shovelware. It didn't come with any fanfare, I mean, just popped up one day and there it is oh you know we, we got a new power ranger game pre-order it to get you know dracon's second skin or whatever i mean i i just i i do not get it and that's and this video is a little bit shorter than, than other videos because again there is so little information but i just really kind of want to vent my frustrations on it because that's ultimately what i'm seeing here is i am seeing this franchise continue to go in directions uh, and do things that just don't make sense. That, honestly, the other fandoms are laughing at us because we can't get the people who own the franchise to do anything significant uh, or anything with it that we've asked for. You know, I mean, even, even on the television show, Look at Ninja Steel. Do we ask for any of that stuff that's going on? Do we ask for for the clumsy writing, the bad acting, and the dialogue? And we didn't ask for any of that stuff. We, we all we ask for as fans is something to be good and for it to progressively get better. And and frankly, again, in my opinion here, I, I think the franchise has gone down since Wild Force, since the acquisition of Disney, because. Again, it, Disney era to me is just kind of kind of a mess. It's it's all over the place. There really wasn't anything good out of it. And then you get the Neo Saban era, which was always playing it safe, could never get its its footing. Dial Charge seemed to be the savior, but it just dived into mediocrity. And now that Hasbro owns it. We look at a couple of decisions that they're going on, and it's kind of like, oh, we're releasing new figures, but canceling the previous lines altogether so you can recollect all the previous figures that you have. Um, you know, we're going to come up with a new TV show, but we're still filming it in New Zealand, and uh, if apparently it looks like we're still going to do 20 episodes a season and then drag it out for a two-year process. Um, again, I'm, I'm just not seeing good decisions being made uh, for the better man of the franchise. It's always same old, same old, and if there is a decision to change something, it's a decision that's made to save money and not to, to make uh, make it better. And, and that's what gets me, is it, and I've said this about Saban, and I'm going to say about Hasbro. Hasbro has a lot of money. Do they have more in Saban? Probably yes. I don't know. You tell me. But it doesn't seem like right now that they're investing a lot of money into the product. Um, I don't know if Inway is really investing a lot of money into this video game. But it doesn't seem like it from what we've seen. I mean, again, just compare Mortal Kombat 11 to what we see from Legacy Wars. It, it, it's you know it, it's day and night basically one game looks like they worked for years on it developing it polishing it giving them what the fans want because apparently MK11 is bringing Baraka back because fans want him 
I have no earthly idea why you'd want a piece of crap character like Baraka, but there you go. The fans want him, and they actually responded to them. Are, are they going to respond spawn the Power Ranger fans? Yeah, we want Power Rangers fighting game. All right, we're going to give you the same game, but on a console at a third of the price, and it's a it's going to be better. We promise. It's it's not going to be worse. It's not going to be the same thing, but on console, you'll see. I don't know. I don't know, and. Maybe I'll be wrong in three months, and maybe it'll be the greatest Power Ranger game there ever was. Maybe it'll surpass Fighting Edition. And actually, here's an idea. Why don't we make an HD remake of Fighting Edition with DLC? That's a novel idea. Is anybody out there wanting to try that? You know, because I would love to be able to play the Shogun Megazord again in a game. Because the Shogun Megazord, boy, does that get screwed every, 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 every chance it can. Alright. So... Yeah, I know I went a little bit on a tangent today, but uh, th that's how that's how I am when I'm very passionate about my favorite franchise, the thing that I love the most, which is the Power Rangers, and, and you guys all all re recognize that. So, all right, well that's all I have to go ahead and say uh, today on this particular uh, topic. So. What do you guys think? Battle for the Grid? Yay, nay? Is it going to be good? Is it going to be bad? Leave a comment below. Let me know. Otherwise, I want to thank you for listening. Have a good evening. And the tavern is now closed. <laughs>